Denny. <laughs> Hi, Holly. <laughs> How are you doing? Cheers. Uh, I'm well. I'm, I'm doing well. You know, I have my tea and uh, it's a sunny day. I'm stuck inside, but um, <laughs> so far so good. Aren't we all? Thank you so much for joining me for my little coffee break today. Oh, um, my pleasure. So first of all, can you tell everybody out there a bit about you? So just, you know, your whole life in like three minutes, if you would. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> Starting now. Well, uh, my name is uh, Denny Brink and I am from Seattle, Seattle, Washington, USA. And uh, um, I have made my way here to uh, Madrid, Spain. Um, I've been here for maybe f almost five years now. Uh, um, came over for love and uh, I have been working mm. <laughs> as a uh, uh, English teacher um, in various aspects uh, in school in academy kind of one-to-one -one, online now um, and, uh, and and summer camps as well so just kind of this whole variation of things I mean it's it's great it's great exposure it's a lot of fun a lot of energy uh, uh, and uh, yeah it's it's kind of been the way to uh, pay the bills <laughs> Uh, while while living in a foreign country nice. um but all the while um yeah shooting shooting and shooting photography kind of the uh the hobby thing yeah the hobby that i have to say um we're gonna link denny's website somewhere in around this video um and everybody please go and look at these photos because when I saw them, Denny has this, I'm just going to brag about you for a second, Denny. Uh, Denny has this ability to take a photo and it's, you know, when you see pictures and sometimes you look at them and you're like, that's a nice picture. And sometimes you look at them and they kind of make you like, oh, or feel something, or there's, there's like a, a visceral response, I'd say to almost all of Denny's pictures. And there's a whole bunch of different topics animals you've got a section on like feeling and you capture these incredible moments and a lot of landscapes and they all have such a strong thing to say as well as just being very beautiful pictures yeah. so that's my little <laughs> <laughs> check out the photos please <laughs> well i appreciate those kind words uh, holly um yeah it's just sort of this uh it's ongoing development um, for you know many years, um, and and getting inspiration from the natural surroundings or, or moments in time. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm 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 fairly um, uh, serious uh, with each image kind of that I take. I'm not a big whatever thousand images in in a in a in a, in a day kind of kind of guy. How many images do you think you take in a day usually? Very uh, it's, it's, um, it could be as low as, I mean, it's typically less than a roll. I shoot, I mean, I'm shooting film now. So, um, I have my role and, and I, and I match kind of the role to the, the situation, I don't know. Um, yeah. and, and, and I, and I compose and I take my time with each image. I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, I, I'm not trying to throw, uh, stills away basically. Yeah. You know, when I can, I can even focus back through my travels. I can, I can think about, oh yeah, that, that, that moment right before I hit the, you know, I hit the shutter. It, it, it takes me back, uh, just, just there. So it's a, I don't know, it's a, it's a good thing for um, reflection and 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 going forward and and uh, I don't know, breathing, feeling. Yeah. The thing that I, I really like about hearing you talk about photography is this sort of the idea. And I, I think it's very applicable to a lot of people in this current situation we're in as well is like the idea that instead of just going like, oh, that's nice, click, 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 and you take like 30 pictures, you actually go like, wow, and take a breath and set it up and prepare. And then you get one amazing shot instead of 20 rapid fire instant you know well for me because i'm um i i'm i mean it's i'm a traveler first yeah and, uh, i'm not being paid to shoot um and so i'm a traveler first and and 
I'm there to explore and to and to take in the moment. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I've become good enough to where you know you anticipate the moment that's you know that's what yeah. photography is is you anticipate the moment you anticipate the light so you position yourself and, and and then you try to sort of hunt that shot so um that's kind of my style is, is just waiting for that perfect uh, little opportunity um certainly things are very spontaneous and random yeah. um but you know there's 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 a lot of uh, little pre pre-planning but I, I love to just go out and and see what happens yeah, and it's the kind of thing being present enough to be ready for the spontaneous thing when it happens and not distracted yeah. by other things and then it happens and you've missed it. I think it's yeah. kind of a little life well, metaphor you've just expressed there, Denny. <laughs> <laughs> I think as any other photographer will tell you though, I mean, missed plenty of shots too. Of you know, course. There, there are, there are <laughs> moments in my memory bank I, yeah, I can still see that shot that I made. <laughs> it's a it's a solid memory. Yeah. So you mentioned, and I know that you're a traveler. Even just looking through your photos, they're taken all over the world. How are you feeling with this whole COVID nineteen huh. situation? And what were your plans? And have they changed? And what are they now? And how are you dealing with it? And <laughs> there's a lot of okay, questions. Okay, let me let's, uh, write those. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's uh, yeah, conflicting, certainly. Yeah. Um, because I mean, elements of this uh, situation are are, you know, kind of what has we've been building up to this. It's you know, it's a it's a pause, um, yeah. and it's uh, and there are some things that have been good uh, that have come from it, but it's mm -hmm. put most of us in a, in a situation of pain um sort of uh, you know navigating uh, these trying times um and including myself yeah. um you know and that usually comes down to paying bills making money you know uh, yeah. making an earning um and and so <laughs> including myself which this summer i had planned to uh have a big adventure something i've been planning for a few years now um which was going up into alaska being from Seattle, Alaska has always been mm, up there, uh, and I never had the opportunity prior. Right. And uh, until I found this a cool um, sort of adventure boat, uh, small adventure boat, and uh, I would be working on that all summer, going up and down the, the um, inside passage and oh. whales and icebergs and and all of that, because I know, you know within my time you know I, i'm going to be able to i'm not going to be able to see those those that same hi birdie scenarios <laughs> i have some yeah uh, some nature within the house as well. <laughs> she kind of runs the runs the roost <laughs> say hello to raya hi raya <laughs> <laughs> she's so um, cute she agrees she says yes she's like i <laughs> am <laughs> <laughs> anyways alaska you were talking about the alaska it was, it, it, it was there and then this week i got the official word that it's not there anymore yeah um uh, available to me so cancel that and who knows if you know if that's um i'll be able to get back there um but i'm not one to sort of uh, dwell <laughs> yeah um Oh, don't sit there. That's the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I just sort of, uh, you know, I have to keep going. I have to keep moving. Um, basically, when a door shuts, a window opens. Hopefully, not a window that the bird can fly out of, uh, but not. one that uh, allows, you know, some <laughs> fresh air and fresh opportunity uh, to explore and to, to thrive. So, with that, you know, I, I'm focused on uh, the photography and all those hundreds and hundreds of slides that I have to take, that's taken yeah. over the years. Um, and I'm, I've been working on digitizing those and, and um, making connections, artistic connections, um, yeah. working on collaboration. So it's, you know, it's uh, been bad and good. I mean, you have, a, you have a book there already on your website. I mean, you could, you could put together a beautiful 
Well, yeah, it's cool. It's, I mean, it's, I, it's, it's, I have heaps, heaps and heaps of images and, and I'm yeah. able to um, focus on, you know, certain aspects or different feelings or have a blue series. I don't know. You know, it's, it's a lot of, I have a lot <laughs> of options. <Awesome> of <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, that's the camera. All right. <laughs> no, she does what she wants. Of course. I love her. I need her in my house during all this isolation. If I had a bird, everything would be different. <laughs> um, absolutely. She has been a wonderful uh, sidekick throughout this yeah. time. You know, all these hours spent inside and you can always just turn to her and, she'd and she'll be like, about sure back to you. And uh, oh, pretty. Go, mm -hmm. This is pretty comical. She's a very good, very good companion to have. Amazing. <laughs> so lastly, what kind of advice would you give to someone who's in a similar position to you, the people who had planned their dream trip in the summer and had been saving for two years to go backpacking in, you know, in Thailand? And what kind of, do you have any words of wisdom for all of those people who are travelers and that's what they identify with and right now they can't do it? How would you console them? <laughs> yeah, that's a difficult, I mean, I, I am just making an assumption, but most of us have some sort of project that is yeah. on the back burner. Um, and that has just, you know, we, we always tell ourselves, we, I'll get to it. I will get to it. One day, one day. That one day is right now. Um, okay. Because that kind of sets you up going forward, you know, kind of, um, uh, once things get back to sort of uh, reality, normality, um, you know, you, I guess you you will be happy that you you used that time wisely. Um, yeah. You know, the, this whole quarantine thing was in waves. That mm -hmm. kind of that initial wave was okay. I did everything: the yoga at this time, and then yeah, the, the project <laughs> at this time, and the language learning at this time, and and it was yeah. uh, very structured, but it was too much actually. Uh, yeah. And then there was the crash where, all right, yeah, Netflix. I so okay. had that as well. Um, and uh, so the equilibrium. So the. the that equilibrium was nice. So the last three weeks have been very productive and very, uh, you know, nicely organized um, to where, yeah, I, I was able to get a lot of things that I have wanted to get done. Um, get her done. Got it. I got it done. I'm getting it done. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's going really, really well. We're going to leave it there for now because my coffee break is over. Yeah, I need a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for joining us for this little chat. And yeah. like I said, anyone watching, please check out Denny's website because the photos are so beautiful. And if you know anyone who happens to just be in need of beautiful photos, please send them Denny's way because um, they really are something special. So yeah, yeah. you can help. Me. You can help. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your lockdown. I hope you appreciate that. Stuff too. I will uh, yeah, send your kind words to Raita as well. Um, 